On this episode of Dirt Road Traveler, we visit a Coptic monastery and the Egypt Museum in Cairo. So our first stop of the day is to visit the monastery. It was originally opened in the year 400 and now houses about 150 monks raging in age of 24 to 98. Let's see what our tour holds for us. That is the main church in this monastery. We will enter and we keep an ancient tradition of taking up shoes. Please, please let's put them at the side, here or there, please. I don't have some. It's okay. In the morning, the ones meet here and we stand up here and there. And we open these books. Get closer and open and see if you want. And we sing songs in Coptic language. At your left hand, you find the Coptic texts. At your right hand, you find the Arabic translation. The Coptic language is the hieroglyphics, the ancient Egyptians, but in Greek language. Before the first century, the Egyptians used the hieroglyphic signs. In the first century, they took the Greek alphabet and they added seven letters to it. And that formed the new Coptic alphabet and language that we use still today in churches and monasteries in Egypt. Would you like to hear any of our songs? Yes. Would you? Okay. May I sing a small song for you? Yes. Yeah? I would sing a small song in Coptic language that we usually sing in daily, almost daily. together in the 5th century by the Berbers. The Berbers were some tribes dwelling in the north of Africa. They were attacking the monasteries for robbery, to steal. If the monks <coughs> couldn't escape, the Berbers fight and kill them. Underground this area, we have the relics, their bones. Get closer, please. A list of their names in Arabic and the date of their killing, 444. This is 444 in Arabic. So this area is called the cell and it's where the monks themselves would have their home or place to sleep and pray it's tiny it's so small that we only have five of us at one time in here it means the abbot of the monastery the head of the monastery reads the bible or the saints sayings from here monks eat and listen no talk during the meals they used to sit in order, the oldest monk is here, then the younger, the younger, ha, 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 hmm, until the youngest one is here. And there is a meaning, the old ones are at the abbot's right hand because he depends on them. The mass that I mentioned to you. And would you like us, please, in this year? Okay, so this is called kushari, and it is a it is a typical typical local food. Um, and by the way, we're back in Cairo. We're going to the Cairo Museum uh, after this, um, just to give you a sense of how affordable this is. And, like it's it's a big bowl um, for, for both Cindy and myself, plus a bottle of water each. 
was the equivalent of about six dollars Canadian for the two of us, so less than three dollars each. So here we go. This is amazing. This is very yummy. Um, it's sort of got a spaghetti-ish kind of with lentils and that warm tomato sauce we put on. Cindy bravely put on some hot sauce. I would show you her eating it, but apparently she is boycotting being videoed while eating. So um, she's not quite red in the face. And uh, I'm gonna add a little garlicky something, something to it. But on a scale of one to 10, for a $3 meal, including water, yeah, this is like an 11. So Cindy, how was it? <coughs> Told you she's boycotting. It's because she eats too fast and she doesn't want anybody to know it. That's what's happening right now. So we've just arrived at the National Museum. Now, we have been warned that during the construction of the new museum, not all the artifacts are here. So we're hoping to see some really cool stuff over the next two to two and a half hours, our time, um, while we're here at the National Museum. National Museum in Cairo. So you can see different from So this is the king from 2700 BC. Part of this Unfortunately, inside, inside the display, we're not allowed to take any pictures or anything like that to share, but this is our next step. the other amazing things about all of these massive granite sarcophagi, I guess, and other items here on display is there's no signs asking us not to touch. So we can actually feel the history. sarcophagus, the box of the sarcophagus, or the base, and the top. But what's really impressive is all the detail work done also on the inside. All the way around. 
and then there's storage areas like this that go on and on and on and on of ancient things that we can't go and see but I guess there's only so much room to have things out on display properly. Well, we've spent a couple hours in the museum here and it's unbelievable. From seeing King Tut's mask and different items found in his tomb to this funeral shroud that dates back to the second century AD. So much here to see. We've been in the museum for a couple hours now, and I'm telling you, I'm blown away. And I can only imagine how amazing the new museum is gonna be with all the artifacts that have been already taken out of here. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Once again, if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and giving us a like. Uh, it lets YouTube know we're doing good work. Uh, but on behalf of Cindy and myself, thanks for watching this episode of Team Dermot Travel.